but as soon as we do, oh, we have the button now. Click the button and we're live. Sweet. Hey, hacksters. Welcome to Monday. It is MCU Monday. And even though it is not uh, Friday, we have a crowdfunding project for you. It's really cool. It's called the Optic Spy. This is a USB attached infrared uh, decoder, which is super cool. And I'm going to show you how it works in just a second. But for now, let's take a look at the crowd supply page because they got five days left to go. They are more than twice overfunded, which is awesome. Uh, and so you have a chance to get uh, your very own if you order in the next five days, which is why I didn't want to like wait until the last second. All right. So, uh, what is it? It's got an infrared sensor on the end of it. It's got a USB mini port on the other end. Uh, you plug it into your computer, you set it up with terminal and it decodes any infrared signals that it's looking at. You can set the baud rate, uh, depending on what, uh, you're looking at. Uh, try different ones and stuff. Uh, we actually did a blog post about this, but just really quick to look at their uh, crowdfunding page first. This is about the size of it. You know, it's, it, it's, it's yay big, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, it, I basically told you the functionality, but the cool stuff about the campaign is that if you uh, donate an extra $10, you also get this thing called a Tomu, which is a uh, USB connected little teeny tiny board that has a couple of feedback LEDs and a couple of buttons. So the idea here is that if you uh, support at a, you know, I think it's $49 for the optics by itself, if you give $10 more, you get the Tomu as well. And that basically sets you up to be able to uh, send hidden optical light encoded messages between two different computers or between a microcontroller and a computer. Let me tell you, um, let me read to you what Joe, the creator, said. Um, his name is Joe Grand and his studio name is Grand Ideas Studio, which is pretty great. Um, Thanks for checking out the Optic Spy. It includes my hand assembled prototype. So cool! There are some rework wires and silk screen markings are different from the production version, but it's still fully functional. Uh, Daryl from Crowd Supply also gave me one of your Feather Hazam modules to send along. This does, in fact, have the Hackster logo on it. It's super cool. Uh, so I used that to send a secret message out of the onboard red LED. Look at this. This is like. Eight year old me is so proud and excited right now because I get to be like a real spy. <laughs> I don't have any usage instructions yet, but to try it out, just connect to your computer, load a terminal program, and set the baud rate to 19200 or 19,200, whatever. Uh, this is the speed I used with the Huzzah demo, but the Optic Spy can support slower and much faster speeds depending on how the target chooses to encode the messages. So, of course, you know, right now for this thing, he's got it sending at a particular baud rate. Uh, but you could talk on a different frequency if you wanted to. Um, point it at the Huzzah's red LED and you should see a message. Uh, you may not have to change the current settings, etc, etc. Uh, there is also some information about adjusting the amplification and gain stages and the voltage threshold for the comparator. If you're using an oscilloscope, da 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 da, the each stage should look like the animated GIF from the campaign page. And I believe that this is the animated GIF which he is talking about. Um, yeah, da, 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 da. with an ESP8266, which is what's on the Adafruit Feather Huzzah, my first thought was to have it grab some piece of data from the internet and send it out via LED, like a Twitter feed or Facebook messages, etc. Or connect the ESP8266 via iOS slash Android app to remotely change the message that's being sent out. You can totally, uh, on any... ESP8266, you can um, broadcast a web page and you can set the HTML to show whatever, but also you could just like set it to send out messages at whatever frequency. Super cool. There's tons more like in depth information about that if you're, uh, you want to really dig into the nerdy details, which is fantastic too. Um, one more thing I want to show on this page is that you have another option for $500. Uh, you can get a 10 pack of these guys, plus a workshop from Joe Grand, the creator of the Optics by for your group. Super cool. Okay, so 
Again, uh, this is the tomu that they're talking about. It sits inside your USB port and kind of hides out there, uh, which is neat. I actually hadn't realized this was a thing. Uh, it's pretty cool too. So uh, a little bit more extra information on the Optic Spy is also available on our blog post. If you go to blog.haxer.io and look for Optic Spy. Okay, enough talking. Let's do a demo. Uh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, I have finally realized what was causing the problem with my Mac's USB ports. Uh, it sometimes just decides to deactivate them and then I have to restart the entire computer. But I'm able to fix the thing now by restarting the computer, so that's good. All right, so what are we gonna do here? We are going to find the port that it's connected to. LS slash that. And it's gonna be, uh, LS is the like find this thing command. Uh, and then slash dev, uh, is like the place where you're gonna find all the stuff connected to USB and then I'm gonna find the specific one that it's connected to. Okay, cool. So now I can start a screen session where I'm going to be talking to it uh, over the serial uh, communication thingy protocol <laughs> and uh, give it the USB port that I want and I can just tab complete that which is great uh, and 19200 is the one that he uh, told me to use for the baud rate. So I just use that as an extra parameter when I'm starting the screen session. And <laughs> when you just point it around, you get all kinds of stuff on here. Um, there's a thing called Li-Fi, which is the idea of transmitting data over uh, just light signals. So, you know, I could have my uh, office LED lights be transmitting information that would be picked up here. It's just like picking up some like, random stray signals right now, but then if I take my feather and I point it directly at the little red LED, it's magic! <laughs> it's so cool! It's so cool! Uh, it says, huzzah! Uh, stop. This is a secret message hidden in light, and if, you know, I just point it at darkness, aka my stomach, <laughs> then it stops picking up anything, and uh, yeah, and, and then back at this again. Oh, so cool! This <laughs> is so cool. <laughs> I also happen to have this robo badge thingy, which transmits, uh, is uh, programmed as a TV begun, which means that it's meant to send off codes to all kinds of different computers. I don't actually know what the baud rate on this is, uh, or anything, but I'm gonna see what happens when I push the button. I have no idea. Is, is it actually doing anything? Are we getting it? It's, I think it's the wrong baud rate, so it's not gonna actually show anything interesting, but <laughs> if you're interested, this is another fun little infrared toy um, that you can check out if you're interested in uh, infrared communications. It's called the Robo Badge, and it is made by Water Rock. Here's the links. I can actually post those in the comments to this video. But yeah, OptiPy Spy, <laughs> super cool. This is this is just like pure magic. And uh, as Joe said in his message, there are various ways that one can reprogram this. And I'm totally gonna play around with that. Uh, I had the idea that you know you can I could have a bunch of different sensors pointed around the office, and um, you know pointing like place them in random various locations and then like point this to like gather the data from each sensor but uh, I think that there's too much interference from random uh, signals bouncing all over the place so like that you know not super great for this um but I want to play around with it uh, and if you have any ideas for what to use this for uh, tell me because that sounds really fun to play with and also go buy one of these for yourself. It's $49 crowd supply. So cool <laughs> It's an infrared decoder, but it also picks up uh, red which does not surprise me too much uh, Like you can make like the the boundary between red and infrared like most most LEDs and uh, lasers and whatnot actually do not well lasers would have a specific wavelength, but um like many LEDs will output light in a number of frequencies in kind of like a little spectrum. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm not surprised that this is also sensitive to red. It also could just be the sensitivity of the sensor also picks up red. Anyway, that's the Optic Spy. Go get one. It's so much fun, super cool. And it's just blowing my mind how much like child me would have loved my life right now. Uh, sweet. Yeah, check it out. Thanks for watching.